They were nine of New Zealand's greatest players and showmen. And chopping up a coconut, here we go, have a drink, my son. Now, after an extensive 15-year off-season, they're hoping to get their lives and bodies back to what they once were, warriors. What I'm nervous about it is the hard truth and how much I've put on. I think that that's what's going to you know, shock me the most. With help from a couple of Kiwi greats, they confront their toughest off-field battles. At the moment, I'm fighting, trying to stay strong. As well as enjoying some long overdue laughs. Brothers on three, eh? One, two, brothers. Oh. You go, one, two, brothers. And form a brotherhood with the goal to once again topple the old foe, the Australian Kangaroos. So, can these Kiwi legends get match fit? Brothers. Okay, Coach Tawara, we'll come to you first. What made you want to be part of this show? Uh, I think the main thing was about uh, reconnecting with the boys. It's uh, been a little while since we sort of all came together. Uh, some of these guys I hadn't seen for, you know, 10 to 15 years. So uh, myself and Ruben were very fortunate enough to be part of the coaching staff and uh, just really excited to be reconnecting with the brothers. Mm. Yeah, and Sione, you actually look fantastic. I mean, how much weight... Have you, have you lost, may I ask? Yeah, I, in total I've lost about 35 kilos. Woo! Uh, nice. But I started my, my fitness journey a little bit earlier than, than the guys on the show. So uh, I started in January Love last year. And uh, yeah, so pretty happy with, with how it's going. I'm, yeah, I've got to say, we often cram people on here, but this is the furthest back yes. we've been pushed. <laughs> We're quite yeah, yeah, yeah. And you probably don't know this, but I'm actually in your security at the moment because right here with Patty and Di, we have two... We've had a lot of famous people on the show. I've never seen these two go so misty-eyed as when you guys walk in. You're wasting time here, Jim. <laughs> Sione, at the end of this, you guys play the kangaroos. There's been some pretty big rivalries between us, I think, of yeah. fights like between Dowling and Tamadi. Is there anyone on the kangaroos side you're hoping to play to smash them? <laughs> well, I don't want to give too much away, but I think it's sort of been in the... Uh, the ads and that Big Willie Mason is oh, obviously part of that yes. uh, kangaroo side, and uh, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the game, not the violence. Just to reiterate. <laughs> yeah, that. Totally. And was there anything in it, Tawera, that uh, you know surprised you filming the show? Yeah, I think one of the things, Patty, um, you know, Ruben and I as the coaches, we sort of came from the 90s, and it was a little bit different in terms of old school rugby league in terms of that. And, uh, but, you know, one of the things for me that's been really inspirational throughout the show was the boys actually uh, being open and vulnerable and sharing the stories and the challenges that they face because, you know, once all the bright lights are gone, the adoration of playing at the highest level for the Kiwis, for the Warriors, you know, there's some really tough challenges that the boys have been through and for them to actually share those stories and be open and vulnerable... Uh, was really inspiring for me. So I was very privileged to be part of the journey, as I said, with Ruben as the co-coacher. So, you know, that really um, inspired me. And, uh, you know, some of the stories that the boys get to share on the show are truly inspirational. Yeah, what's harder, Sione, being on the field and playing league or being honest in front of a national audience and in front of your peers? Look, I have to say, yeah, being vulnerable on national television... Wow. Just like what Tawada said, I didn't realise how emotional and how many um, feelings were, were getting stirred up throughout each episode that was getting shot, not just from myself, but with each of the brothers. So, um, you know, everyone was authentic, like Tawada said, vulnerable, but overall, I was just happy to be part of the journey with them because I, I couldn't have picked a better bunch of guys. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make you be vulnerable and open and really <laughs> bear it all on national TV with possibly the hardest question. Is this our year for the Warriors? <laughs> of course it is. Of course oh, it wow. Is. <laughs> Take and, your time. And I'm going to be vulnerable too and say, when I was asking you a question before, I could hardly get it out because you're just an icon to me. In fact, um, when I was 14, I used to run around uh, town playing rugby league and calling myself Galwera Nico. Oh, <laughs> you're still rocking a bit of a mullet. Yeah, I know, mate. You've got a little bit of a I know. This is, my, this is my third one in life. The first one was when I copied you back then. Then I had one in my 20s. Now I've got this one. But I'm sure you've got the OG there. Yeah, that yeah you... definitely. And Di used to rock a good mullet back in yeah, the day. Yeah, so we've and got I, the hardcore leagueies. I hey, actually guy. call myself Sione Daimoena. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I can 
say is you guys need to exit there and run fast because these two are going to grab you if you don't. Watch You're still being idolised. That has not faded. Yeah, well, that's because you're legends and we get to see more of these two and the rest of the team on Match Fit. It premieres tomorrow night on 3, right after our show. Big thank you to Tawira and Sione. Thank you. <laughs>